One of the biggest events of the summer, Tanglewood, was the world premiere of Andre Previn and Tom Stoppard's Penelope. The show was supposed to be part of a celebration of Previn's 90th birthday year, but after his death this past February, it's now a dedication to his life and music, featuring the Emerson String Quartet, soprano Renee Fleming, pianist Simona Dinnerstein, and Uma Thurman as the narrator. Stoppard calls the show, quote, an opera of sorts, and we caught up with him to find out why. So do we, do we address you as Sir Tom? Is that the appropriate? Uh, 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 does Lord Stoppard work for you? Actually, that was my <laughs> yeah. next option. Okay. So yes, it does. Very well. Uh, either that or Tom. Tom, Tom would be okay, best. I think that's yeah. wonderful. So tell us how this project all came about. Tell us the genesis, how it began. That goes back longer than you might think um, because... I've known Andre Previn, who composed the music for this piece, of course. Um, I've known him. I've known him many years. We met in the early 70s, and we did one thing together in, in around about 1977 Every or eight. Good boy deserves Every good boy favor. deserves favor. Um, and then we worked together where the play I was involved in needed a couple of songs, but for the last, I would say, 10 years of his life. He would say to me occasionally, could you try and write something for Rene to sing? And, you know, I'll compose the music and it'll be the three of us. And I kept funny. saying, I don't know how to write the thing. But the other thing I don't know is, which, who, should I speak, should I look at you or you or Either between What if we go like this no, and you right. can look at us both? I'll, I'll manage. Okay, I'll manage. we figured you might. I said, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, genuinely don't know what it means to write for a singer and and I, and I still don't and in the end he said look just just do it as if it was a long speech in a play and let me worry about how to make it sing and uh, so I, I so I did that you know it's, it's a sort of rhythmic kind of monologue and I I heard the music for Penelope for the first time when we had our first rehearsal. So it was a really, um, was a really exciting couple of hours to have a rehearsal. So why um, Penelope? People, lots of people know the story of yes. the Odyssey, Odysseus' wife, Penelope. So why Penelope? Um, we couldn't think of anything. Um, I kept saying, all right, I'll have a go. What, what, what should it be about? And he said, anything you like. Um, and finally, I'm not quite sure where the thought of Penelope came from, but um, in the past, um, I've had a reason to work with Homer's Odyssey. And so okay. I, was, I was aware that, that Odysseus's wife um, was famed for her loyalty and yeah, 20 years was it she was wearing yes. it's a, oh, yeah. that's a long time to wait for your husband to come home and she in my mind was in a state of some resentment that she her reputation came down to us as this as it were homely faithful loyal wife knitting and weaving and patiently waiting for her man to get back from the war you have obviously experienced scores and scores of openings. At this stage of your career, do you feel anxiety the night before a premiere? Um, not as I used to, actually. Um, and with a with a concert recital, um, I was about to say, not so many things can go wrong, but that could be the opposite of the truth, because I, I never think of the music going wrong. Yeah. But maybe the Emerson Quartet uh, have a different view of that, and they certainly ha have to rehearse very hard. Why do you feel less anxiety now than, as you said, you used to? Why? Because um, he's got a million awards, <laughs> and he's been all yeah. over again with the great No, it's, it's, it still seems... It still seems really important that everything should go right on the night. That's true. But, um, you know, you get older, you get more kind of fatalistic or something. And uh, so I'm still a bit worried on the very first. It's not the first night, it's the first audience, because that's when you find out the best and the worst. Is this your first time at Tanglewood? Yes. 
How do you feel about Tang? What's your reaction? And Ozawa Hall, where we hear beautiful music coming to us in the background, this beautiful venue with this open back that's just, I think, so it enchanting. Is. What do you think of this place? It's, I'm trying to think of something which isn't a cliche word, but you, you come here and, and frankly, it is amazing, as everybody probably says. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's utterly lovely. Before you go, uh, uh, you have your world premiere tomorrow. Boris Johnson had his world premiere at 10 Downing today. What's your reaction to his ascension? Uh, it's different from coming to Tanglewood, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Um, we shall wait and see. Um, <clears throat> it, it's not as though all the, in, all the alternatives are deeply attractive. It, it's a very strange situation in England. Um, I and most of my friends tend to say, uh, if there was an election now, who do we vote for? Yeah. Um, I don't think that's true here. Uh, but it's true in Britain. Lord Stoppard, it was a joy. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, that went very quickly. Thank it did, you. <laughs> indeed. Following its world premiere, Penelope is hitting the road with shows across the country.